Hi and welcome to uh, 2017 Paper 1 Junior Cert Higher Level Question 10. And it's a short question, just worth 10 marks. So just three parts. So we'll get stuck in part A. Um, now you see here I've screen grabbed uh, the page from the math tables with the rules of indices. You need to know these because for just general arithmetic, but also for these kind of questions where they're examining powers. If you know what you're doing, they're really handy, really easy questions to get good marks. If you don't know the rules of power as well, there might as well be gobbledygook. So I'd suggest pausing it here and just having a look at the rules and seeing can you get the answers yourself. Um, if you want this set of notes with the uh, screen grab questions and the answers, please email me at shanetroy at gmail.com. You'll find the email address in the description below. So part A there is looking at um, multiplying 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 10. Now this rule here is applying uh, this one here, okay? So when you multiply two base numbers, so uh, they are the same. See here the 2 is the same, the 2 is the same, and the 2 is the same here. You add the powers. So in this case it's 2, plus, uh, two to the power of 3 plus 5 plus 10. So your answer would be 2 to the power of 18. Okay. Now I'll go straight to the answer to show the answer there. Now that's it done out. Now with the second one there, okay, part B. The trick with most of these questions is to be able to express your number in a different form. Okay. Now it's saying here in the beginning of the question, write each of the following in the form of 2 to the power of n, where n is the element of q. That means it can be basically uh, any number of fractions. Okay, so we're looking here at 8 to the power 25. Well, the base number 8 is not in the form of 2 to the power of something. So how could I express 8 uh, in the form of 2 to the power? Well, 2 to the power of 3 is the same thing as 8. Now that's still to the power of 25. So basically, just swap, I'll just swap them out. That number 8 to the power of 25 is the exact same as the number 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 25. There's a rule here, it's a third rule of powers. We often call that the power of a power. And in this scenario, you multiply the powers. So the answer here is 2 to the power of 3 times 25, which by my maths is 75. Okay, and the answer there is done out just the exact same way, in more detail. Now the part C here, that's the square root of 8. So again, we need to use some of the rules of powers. The first thing I do there is apply this rule here. Basically, a square root is the same as a fractional power. So square root of 8 is the same as 8 to the power of a half. Okay. Now, I still want my answer in the form of 2 to the power of something. So just like the last one, how could I express 8 uh, as uh, a power of 2? Well, 2 to the power of 3 is the same thing. That's to the power of a half. Then you're applying the second rule again. So that rule again. Uh, power of a power you multiply. So as to, that would come out with the answer. Uh, three halves is the same thing as three over two. Job done. So when I have these questions here, it's worth knowing what all the different, um, you know, the small numbers like two to the power of zero is one, two to the power of one is two, two to the power of two is four, two to the power of three is eight. Same thing with the powers of 3, 4, and 5. If you know them well, then you'll be able to easily swap those numbers out uh, as appropriate. And that's it. Okay, so thank you for your time, and see you on question 11.